All right, so today we're gonna to be talking about why in non-action, in action, is a woman's most powerful weapon. It'll coincide with my upcoming course, Emotional Mastery, which is a six week, six to seven week course about how to apply meditation and presence into your life to become more likable, to become more influential, heck, to even become even funnier. I say, I notice people become funnier when they start getting into meditation and to pretty much just become somebody who people want to hang around with more and at the end of the day how to become ha more happy someone whose presence brings relaxation and opens up pe and lowers people's defenses um so pre-order it right now right now it's at 120 next week the price is gonna go up people so pre-order it right now before it goes up to its original price that's going to be which is going to be 250 300 something like that it, it just depends on on how it goes to be honest with you but it's my best course to date hit the like button subscribe to the channel and don't forget we're having a seminar in london you guys can attend online if you want or in person it's going to be at the end of july it's going to be about non-verbal communication all right pre-order um, order your tickets right now so look let's talk about what is inaction what is non-action that this concept comes from the from Wu Wei, right and in the terms of dating in terms of dating inaction it means doing nothing is sometimes the most effective form of action right not doing something is the most effective form of action but unfortunately not doing something is the one thing that brings out insecurity because emotions intense emotions emotions are meant to create motion pretty much emotions are there to get you to act right those are chemical reactions to get you to eat fundamentally it was meant to avoid pain and to gain pleasure and to go towards pleasure right to 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 go towards what promotes survival and to run away towards what could kill us right so those emotions are literally meant for action so the concept of non-action is pretty much about disciplining yourself and knowing when to act and when not to act and it's much better to know when not to act more than when to act pretty much itself right so this isn't about being lazy and giving up but more about being more strategic because being strategic it's not about being manipulative but being strategic is all about opening up your options so let's just say somebody pisses you off and you send that text message sending that text message out of emotions pretty much limits your options but holding that text message and not doing something opens up your options and gives you more 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 uh, more mobility if that makes any sense so um so it's all about letting your relationships be more effortless when it comes to this video right um if there's effort rather than doing something rather if you feel resistance the person's not changing the, the person doesn't like you back doing nothing sometimes is better than doing something why because it'll reveal a person's true intention hey, there's a quote that says effortless relationships happen naturally right never forcing things if a relationship is meant to happen it, it'll happen on its own like the earth like the earth gives rise to um to life so it's all about learning how to have an economy of motion and an economy of words and you could only have that not through doing but through learning when not to do through learning how to prune or take away the fat so when it comes to the area of relationships and and finding someone effortless effort is more important than effort itself because seeing the effort behind your actions can be a turnoff so make your beauty so it's almost like have you have you seen the movie hitch where the guy uh where will smith um where will smith creates a scenario where the guy rescues a puppy right and the woman sees him rescue the puppy and she's like oh my god that's so cute that's so awesome and she'll and she ends up liking him but if she saw that the rescuing of the puppy was orchestrated that would have been a turnoff right so make your so make your beauty make your your style make your presence appear as effortless as possible never revealing too much effort so for example if you're a woman don't put on so much makeup that it looks like it's pasted on that's a, that's a perfect example of that right so if you're a man don't put, don't show don't show don't put don't don't let your effort of looking attractive appear obvious from the outside in because it actually communicates insecurity than the opposite it's almost like when you see a guy or, or a girl putting on a personality putting on the front when in reality you can sense that they're not really like that and it turns people off so in, in love effortless effort is important seeing the effort behind your actions can be a turnoff make your beauty seem effortless never reveal the effort 
never look too made up, never appear too eager to please, never appear to put too much effort in romanticism, right? Make it look natural and free flowing, make it look spontaneous, like a flower or a mariachi band. For example, if I'm just walking and you see me put, and you see, literally see me put like flowers in different places so I could give it to you, it'll look, it'll look, it'll look try hard. But if I, if I just casually act like I just found the flower and gave it to you, it'll look more spontaneous and that spontaneous nature is attractive. Or let's just say there's a mariachi band, right? And I want to surprise you with a mariachi band. I want it to look spontaneous. You don't want to see me like, like calling up different mariachi bands to impress you. No. You want it to look spontaneous and that just pops up out of nowhere. That is more attractive. That actually makes people fall for you a lot more when it looks more spontaneous. The best performers, for example, in basketball, when somebody looks good at basketball, they look effortless. But when somebody's playing bad, they look like they're forcing it. In fact, people in basketball will say, oh, this person appears like they're forcing the issue as opposed to making them look effortless. Right, because the effortlessness is more feminine. The effort looks more masculine. You want to have that feminine energy where it doesn't look like you're trying. That's why in basketball, when somebody's good at basketball, they usually use phrases that are feminine. He has a beautiful flow. Like even Muhammad Ali, sting like a butterfly. No, move like a butterfly, sting like a bee. The movement is like a butterfly because he looks effortless. Muhammad Ali looked like he, when he was punching, it looked effortless. It didn't look like he was trying. And as a result, it looked beautiful because it looked effortless even though he's putting effort. So when you meet people, forceful smiles and overt effort to impress people turns them off. It's like when a guy's trying to impress a woman, he talks about his cars. It looks too fucking effortful. So it turns people off. As opposed to the woman after a few days seeing that he has a beautiful car, it looks effortless, it doesn't look try hard, and as a result, she falls for the guy. Right? Or a woman who looks, who looks hot, but it shows, shows the heavies, shows her legs, sh is, is too revealing, it looks too effortful, and it looks like a turnoff. But if a woman looks, shows off her body, but in an effortless fashion, without looking like she's trying, it looks more attractive. It's like I, I meet people, and there's this one person that I met, that when she was talking, you could tell she was like, oh really? Oh wow, oh my God, oh really, oh really? And when I met her at first, I was like, oh my God, what a turnoff, you could sense the fakeness, it's like an actor who doesn't look like, who looks like they're acting, as opposed to an actor who looks like they're not acting. But then after a few weeks, this same girl relaxed, and all of a sudden when she talked to me, her face looked more relaxed, her voice looked more relaxed, and she actually became more attractive to me. Why? Because she looks, she wasn't trying, and it is true, she wasn't trying from the inside. And it also looked like she's trying to manipulate or she's trying to get attention. And one of the things about people is that when they notice you're trying hard to get attention, they won't give it to you. People only give attention and praise to those who look like they're not trying to get it. Before we continue, we're going to take a quick commercial break. And don't forget, hit the like button and subscribe. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys haven't purchased any of my courses, we have a special bundle deal for everyone. Um, so that you can purchase all of my courses, meaning you could purchase the Psychological Game of Attraction, Natural Chemistry, and Nice Girl, along with all of the bonuses. Originally, if you purchase everything without the bundle, it'll be around $400, around $500, to be honest with you. Um, but right now, if you guys purchase it with the bundle, you guys will be able to get all of these courses, Psychological Game of Attraction, which is for women, for women who are single, Natural Chemistry, which is for women who are in a relationship, Nice Girl, which is a course on assertiveness, along with all of the bonuses, social mastery, practical mastery in terms of how to master anything, social mastery in terms of how to master your social skills, and the laws of human nature, wherein I, it's part of the Robert Greene book club I used to have. All of these naturally, like I said, it's 500. Now you get it at 394, which is essentially 20% off everything. But if you guys want to purchase a more affordable bundle, you guys can purchase the bundle without the bonuses and that will be at two um 224 rather than the 300 well, rather than the 293 that you guys will naturally purchase it so you could purchase it with the bundle or without the bundle um you could purchase it with the bonuses or without the bonuses um it's all of the work that i put in the last four years um in the last five years actually all of the research that i've done 
and this course rather than watching all of my videos and because they, they could be random and you could sort of like lose the big picture because there's just so many videos you guys get all of the content condensed in a course trust me people if you guys purchase this you won't regret it um if you haven't purchased it hopefully this will push you towards it um because it's something that i believe in and everyone who, who's purchased my course um have been satisfied with it and if they didn't like it i always give my money i always give their money back i have never rejected a refund all right so purchase it right now click on the description down below where it says pur purchase the bundle and i'll see you guys inside Heck, inaction will help you prevent getting manipulated because the way people manipulate you is not by them taking action first, it's by people baiting you to take action. And they, when they bait you to take action, they bait you by creating, finding what triggers you and finding what makes you feel insecure so that you could take that action. It's like a trap, right? They lay a trap, a honey trap, like the way that some Colombian women, um, you know, when I got mugged, right? They make you take action. They make you make the make the first move by 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 promising you something, promising you a promise that you like, right? And then by you taking that first step, it puts you in a position of chasing, right? And the way they do that is just by making you feel insecure, right? They don't text you back. They don't call you back. They take a long time to text and stuff like that. Those are the or or they tell you things from your past. They'll 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 tell or even like like like. People who try to bait celebrities to fight them, to punch them, right? They try to get them to, to take action, to hit them, so that then they can sue them, right? There's so much power in not letting people force you into action. And, and when you learn to um, self-constrain your, self, self, self yourself, you pretty much gain the most powerful weapon, which is control over yourself. IG, Instagram thoughts, right? the smart ones bait the nba players to hit them up first the dumb ones hit the hit up the nba players first because and, and by them doing that they lose all leverage but if you're smart thought you post the right photos you get the right plastic surgeries you see the type of girls those nba players like and you just post those photos and wait like a spider waiting for for the prey to come in its web right you you that that is the way the predators, the real predators, wait, like a, a, like an alligator. An alligator has been, a, a crocodiles have used the same strategies so for millions of years. And that strategy is just to sit and wait and not move. And let the gazelle or whatever animal move into that trap. And once they're close enough, then they take swift and strong action. But before that, they're, they, they don't move. They're still. And then they just look and wait. And the animal and the alligator and crocodile that has the most patience and that's and that sits still the most is the one that's going to end up eating at the end of the day even michelangelo said about michelangelo said that if if people see how much effort i put into my art you wouldn't think i'm that impressive right and that is very true when people don't see how when people when you put a lot of work but you don't show it on the outside you look like you came from heaven you look like you have a, a an ability that's beyond humanity you look like you look more divine and people will follow you more and people will be more attracted to you so when it comes to dating when you don't know what to do when you're uncertain about what to do sometimes doing nothing is better than doing something because sometimes because when someone isn't responding to you let's just say they don't respond to your efforts to attract them or they don't respond to a text to, or, or or somebody makes you mad doing nothing sometimes is way better because when they're resisting you when somebody resists you trying more to convince them actually makes them more defensive it's just how it works I just wonder where father alex is i'm at a meditation retreat so that you guys can see it's a five-day meditation retreat. Anyways, let's keep going. So in action, in this case also, is when your emotions get triggered. When somebody triggers a, a projection mechanism, when somebody triggers your darkness, your dark side, when somebody makes you feel insecure, 100% of the time, the best thing to do is to do nothing. Why? Because certain insecure emotions trigger an unconscious behavior that you're not even aware of. When you when somebody rejects you a lot of the time we have a certain way of behaving that's consistent We just don't notice it's like when we could see somebody's pattern But we don't for example. I had a roommate named Amina She always noticed that when I was on a when I went on a date. I always wore a white shirt She was able to notice patterns about me that I couldn't tell 
There are patterns about you that you're completely not aware of. But if you actually don't take action, all of a sudden those patterns become irrelevant because your body will start telling you, do that, do that, do that, do that. And you start noticing, oh my God, when I feel insecure, I actually do this. And by you not taking action, you can actually find your weaknesses by just you not doing nothing. Or let's just say people don't like you. And you, and you don't understand why people don't like you. Sometimes reducing your personality to a gray some could help you see what you're doing wrong. So for example, it's almost like if you don't know why people don't like you and you talk a lot, don't talk. And then slowly up it up and slowly start talking, slowly start uh, upping up the volume in terms of like metaphorically speaking and see whether or not you're more likable at this rate of talking versus this rate and this rate. Or better yet, a better example, it's like when people have, a, have bad stomach issues, a doctor would completely say, eat bland food. That's a form of inaction. Stop eating the bad food. Stop eating a bunch of food. And then slowly start introducing and seeing which food triggers the, the acid reflux or whatever. But the point is that's a form of non-action which will allow you to reveal what's wrong. An action means standing back and observing people. Not, so, so when you're going into a new situation, a new job, or you're meeting someone, or even better yet, a new job or a new situation, sometimes not imposing your personality, even bosses, right? New, new bosses, new managers, sometimes not imposing what you want is way better than instantly imposing your, your desires because it'll create resistance. Stand back and see the culture. Stand back and observe the hidden rules of that culture. Stand back and observe the, the, the unwritten rules, which is more important than the, the, than the written rules. Right. Um, Benjamin Franklin one time was working at a at, at, at a press in, in England, I think so. And when well, that, well, that's, that's, that, well, let me say it. when he went there, they had a, a thing where they would put money for beer. And Benjamin Franklin believed in not drinking beer. So he wouldn't put money. And then as a result, in the printing press, there were all of a sudden mistakes started showing up in the printing press. Why? Because they were they resented the fact that he wasn't contributing to the beer fund. He, he imposed his belief on the people rather than standing back and observing what is the culture. And as a result, people underperformed intentionally to sabotage him. But then he realized the mistake, started putting money in, and all of a sudden those mistakes disappeared. But if he just stood back and observed and, and, and didn't impose his will initially, people, he would have observed that. It's almost like a dad, a stepdad who comes into a house. He superimposes his desire, superimposes his, his, his rules, starts punishing the kid before even knowing the kid. And all of a sudden you create walls you can never put down. Sometimes leaning back and observing the motherfucker allows you to be more influential, not taking action. It's almost like somebody punches me, if a woman punches me, sometimes not, not hitting her back is the best thing to do. Why? Because inaction opens up your ability. That's a hard... Alex is crazy. He does that. I'm kidding. I don't do that shit, people. Come down, Melissa. And <laughs> I think Melissa's a feminist. In action means standing back and observing people, not asking people to change. So if you meet someone and they're your partner and they're drug addicts and they're this or that and you don't like that, sometimes saying, saying that you don't like it and then, not, and then taking a step back and observing whether or not they change is the best thing to do rather than being overbearing and trying to change them. It takes more effort to change people than to let people be and find somebody who's ready. Don't try to change people. You're not Dr. Phil. You're not Bob the Builder. Let people be and find somebody else. Because if they really like you, your inaction is going to cause them to take action, to change, so that, you could all of, so that you could take action to be with them again. Inaction says more than actions. Actions speak louder than words. And actions are silent. Words are loud. Inaction means not trying to change how you feel as well. So when you're meditating and you're feeling any kind of depression, any agitation, trying to resist the emotion will only create more of it. Because resistance usually comes with thoughts. Resistance usually comes with you saying, I don't like it. But if you observe the emotion, just looking at it, like you're looking at it by feeling it. For example, feel what you feel. Whatever you feel, try to feel it more. That's looking. For that one second, you were observing and not judging. Stay there. Keep looking at that emotion. Don't try to change it. If you want to learn more about that, pre-order my course, Emotional Mastery. It should be out by the, by the start of June. But just observe that emotion. Don't push it away. Bring it closer to you. 
By you trying to influence it through drugs or through validation from people or through eating, overeating, you will, you will start resisting it. But those emotions, by you doing nothing and sitting down, if, if you just sit down and do nothing and just look, all of a sudden that emotion will become transmuted into peace. That's how the Buddha became enlightened. Inaction means removing yourself from the situation and being alone. If, if, if you don't know whether or not somebody likes you, sometimes just pulling away and doing nothing will reveal to you if they like you. If you're being influenced in a negative fashion from a social group or, or, you, or you feel like people don't like you, sometimes taking a step back from that group a week or two or even a weekend, sometimes it'll help you see and take the fog of emotion, the fog of the social influence, and you can see the group from a different perspective. It's like people who are in cults. They don't know they're in a cult until they leave and then they realize through contrast that they were, they were in a cult. Taking, away, taking a step back from the group allows you to see things more better. Being alone allows you to, let, to know yourself more. Taking a step back allows you to see things from a different perspective. And action also means waiting rather than acting. So if you want a relationship with someone, sometimes waiting is more important. Waiting to get to know them rather than assuming you really know them. Sometimes if somebody doesn't text you back, waiting is the most important thing rather than double texting. People who double text, people who are desperate, are people who have no concept or have no ability to have an action because those emotions are so intense, they haven't mastered their emotions so that, that the emotion is the one that controls them. The emotion becomes a parasite. It feeds off of you, feeds off of your energy, and it self-sabotages you. An action means taking your time before deciding on the person. And also, even in negotiation, the, the one who responds first loses. The one who blinks first loses. Inaction means learning to be still as a coping mechanism when stress and insecure. So if you're stressed, somebody's stressing you out, a, a girl or guy is making you feel insecure because they're not texting you back, sometimes just sitting still and observing and breathing is the best form of action. Sometimes the hardest form of action is doing nothing because we're so used to doing something. Doing something gives us the, 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 the feeling of control. For example, it's almost like when, when I'm in traffic, right? And the traffic is not moving, but then I see a bicycle moving. I'm like, fuck. I wish I, I, wish I could just get out the car and bike home because, it's, because, I'm not, because I'm not moving. But then 20 minutes later, we, it starts moving. The traffic relieves. And all of a sudden, I start moving. And then that bike... That, that, that looked like they were moving fast. So all of a sudden I passed that bike, right? Sometimes just standing where you are, not doing nothing. Don't let the fact that people look like they're progressing fool you. Sometimes you are on the right path and sometimes you just have to wait. Sometimes things take time and then once that moment comes, things accelerate. Because the more you act out of compulsion, the more unnecessary action you do. Now, what is unnecessary action? Unnecessary action is just things that makes things harder. You know, for example, talking too loud, you, you could talk, but you're talking too loud. Talking too much, you could talk, but you're talking too much. Moving too much, fidgeting, you, you could move, but you're moving too much, right? Going from relationship to relationship, you could be in a relationship, but sometimes taking, taking your time in between relationships is important. Responding fast, sometimes, not resp sometimes taking your time is the best type of response. Doing less and saying less. This concept will train your discipline. This concept will train your mind. This concept will show you how much control you really have over yourself. Because if you cannot do this, that just means you need to train more. And the way to do that is just to do the most obvious thing, is to literally be still. Meditate. Increase your meditation practice. For example, in my course, Emotional Mastery, I'm gonna talk about how to increase your meditation practice. But in our school, we have a thing where we draw for eight hours a day. But the way we do it is that we don't just draw for eight hours straight. We do 20 minute intervals. So 20 minutes, we draw five minute break for four hours and then we take a one hour break right so with meditation this is what i do whenever i want to do three or four hours of meditation in a day i'll pick a day right where for the next five hours i'm going to be meditating 
So I'll meditate in, in lotus position. And then when I get frustrated and tired, I'll meditate with my head with, with lay, facing up. And then I'll meditate set standing up. And then I'll meditate walking. And then I'll just look at something, look outside and breathe. And then I'll try to meditate again. And then maybe, it, maybe if I'm too tired, I'll look at a video for five minutes and then go back to meditate for five minutes. But my, the point is, is that I'll, I'll, I'll keep, I'll have as many breaks as I could. But for those four hours, I'm trying my best. I used to do that with prayer. When I was, a, when I was younger, I used to be a Christian and I used to do like whole day fast where I would be praying the whole day. But I'm, I wasn't praying the whole day. I pray for 10 minutes, 30, 40 minutes. And when I'm tired, I'll read the Bible or look up or listen to some Bible related video, right? Or I'll walk and think about God. And then once I'm done walking, then I'll go back and read, then pray and then read again. And then, and then once I'm done, then I'll just go and do something else, right? But the point is that you, you're, for those four hours, you're, you're putting in effort. You're putting in effort. Even in weightlifting, you, do, you don't do 20 sets in one time. You do, you do one set, then you take a break. Another set, and then you take a break. And by you doing that, you could increase your capacity to be still for longer periods of time. And that will translate in your dating life where you'll learn to be more relaxed around people. Your nonverbal cues will become more relaxed. Your face will become more relaxed. Your voice will become more relaxed. You won't talk like this all the time. You won't talk, you won't have those unconscious signs of, of neediness leaking out by learning to do less people. Anyways, I hope this video made sense. Um, it's actually one of my favorite videos. Um, it's a concept that if you guys apply this, it doesn't just apply to, to relationships. It applies to everything in your life, all right? And if you guys ever want to work with me one-on-one -on, -one on how to apply this, I have a few coaching, co coaching options. I have, I have a coach in the pocket where you guys have access to me 24-7. It's actually, the price is $2,500, but for a whole month, if you're seeing someone or you're going through something and you feel like you need guidance, you can have access to me 24-7 where you ask me the question and I respond in the form of an audio on WhatsApp. It's, it's like, it's coach in a pocket. You have me in your pocket, imagine that I'm with you 24-7. That's a perfect type of coaching for people who are seeing someone consistently and need constant coaching, all right? Or you guys could get a package where for, th uh, where for you guys could get like uh, three coaching calls at a discounted rate. You can click on the description down below to check all of the coaching options. And if you guys ever want to attend my seminars, click on the description down below. You guys can attend online if you guys can't go to London. And I'll see you guys in the next video, okay? Take care. Shut up, bird. All right, ladies. So finally, I have released my second course for women, which is natural chemistry. This course is a five week course, five week course where every week you're going to get a new set of videos based on, based on specific issues. The, this course is all about how to create and maintain the attraction in any man. This will help you create love. This will help you deepen the love with your man. This is not about manipulation. This is not about playing games. This is genuine, genuine, natural chemistry no more short-term partners no more being fooled why because i will reveal to you not only how to create attraction in the first week but also how to understand male nature how to understand their tricks how to prevent from being a too attached signs that he's the wrong guy signs that he's a narcissist signs that he's a mama's boy signs that he's an emotionally available guy emotionally unavailable guy we go over everything. We go over this third week, setting boundaries. We go over the third week, controlling your emotions, right? Setting boundaries, fourth week, fifth week, embracing your masculine and the feminine, right? And on top of that, I come, I have over 10 different bonuses, 10 different bonuses, my Lord have mercy, right? With, with a money back guarantee. The bonus are one, the natural chemistry, over 10 hours of content, right? The breakup formula, how to deal with a breakup, right? The connecting with your man, right? Establishing a life of abundance, social mastery, understanding your dark side, the goal setting seminar, which is about how to set and achieve goals, practical mastery that will teach you how to master anything. The laws of human nature. I will come that I have a book club for the laws of human nature where over four hours of content, right? The transformational seminar in a pocket, which is my mindfulness seminar, and the Chase audiobook. This is a this originally is one thousand eight hundred dollars, but you get it starting at ninety seven dollars, ladies and gentlemen. Right, ninety seven dollars. We have different packages, but all of this starts at ninety seven dollars. And you know what? You can check it out for free if you want. Yeah, for all the freeloaders, I have free videos just for you. 
free videos, all right? So you could just check it out for free and then you could get out. Nothing wrong with that, all right? So, and on top of that, it comes with a 30 day money back guarantee. No questions asked. That's right. No questions asked. I don't mind. I just want you guys to check it out because I know when you take one look, you're going to want to buy it. I can promise you. Just like my other course, um, the psychological the psychological game of attraction, it was a hit. You're going to love this one. This one is not about manipulation. This is genuine natural chemistry. Order it now. All right? I'll see you guys inside. Peace out.